Back again, another 30 days of WrestleMania entry. This time we're doing WrestleMania 11. And the downward turn continues. We uh, stepped it up a little bit with Jenny McCarthy and Pamela Anderson as their, your celebrities. But other than that, um, wow, wow. Uh, we you, you had Jeff Jarrett and uh, Razor. You had um, a lot of the Million Dollar Corporation. I didn't realize how big it was. I was not watching wrestling at this point. I, I was not watching WWF at this point. This is when uh, it got too cable for me, and uh, there was no, nothing that my poor little uh, rural self could watch and keep up with at this point. Um, I mean, even Bob Backlund against uh, 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 Bret Hart in a I Quit, basically an I Quit match. It's a submission match where you had to say I Quit, you know, which we know now as, as I Quit matches. Um, really uh, again really really forgettable um steve mongo mcmichael was in this one before you saw him in wcw he was part of uh, lawrence taylor's all-star team and again um kind of uh, let me think if this is the probably the first no no this is the second one where we didn't have a world championship uh as our last main event uh, for WrestleMania, this time being Diesel and Shawn Michaels uh, being for the title. Uh, Taker finally into a form. I'm trying to remember why he had a giant urn at the time. Um, don't recall, but taking on King Kong Bundy as one of his victims there. You know, uh, I got I to gotta roll this back because there's a local wrestler who um, chest flex or who has the C's for sense and did an entire million dollar man outfit when the Ted DiBiase was part of the Night of Legends show with the International Wrestling Cartel. And I didn't realize Nikolai Volkov had a very similar outfit with the sense signs. Wow. Um, but it goes to show you, and you had to return, I, I, I'm presuming it sounds like it was a return of uh, Yokozuna um, teaming with Owen Hart as he's the guy that beat Brett at WrestleMania 9, which is a pretty good setup for that. That's a great reason to be uh, tag team partners, kind of a common common goal there. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a very weird time for me. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I wasn't uh, watching at the time. Some people, these are their fondest memories is the Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart years. Um, when they were on top of the company for the most part. But again, this is where I kind of faded a little bit, and I, I see that what I... Don't feel like I missed much when I'm looking back on shows from this era on WWE Network. So let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think of WrestleMania 11? Uh, can Lawrence Taylor really go against Bam Bam Bigelow? Yeah, yeah. Also, I, I, I don't know if I missed it or what, but I think Salt and Pepper was cut out of the WWE Network release. Because um, Bam Bam was yelling at him when he came out, but I don't remember a performance. And I thought they did a performance at WrestleMania 11. Um, but there's a lot of goofy things going on when they're putting things on the network. And at least it's, they, at least we're getting away from some of the theme music not being overdubbed. Like even WrestleMania 3, I think like the Junkyard Dogs music or 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 Hillbilly Gyms is is overdubbed for whatever reason. And um, it is really annoying. I don't know if I'm the only one that notices it, but you know, it really bugs me. I can't watch the old ECW stuff because of it. And I want to, you know, again, something else I didn't experience from that era because I didn't have ECW on any of the couple over the air channels that I had. So Anyways, at that point, let me know what you thought of WrestleMania 11. Anything else, go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show and uh there's a playlist here with 30 days of wrestlemania where all these videos are going please subscribe we can check out wrestling mayhem show.com and check out all the shows we're doing over there i'm at sorgatron on the twitter follow at mayhem show on the twitter as well and we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com